Hello everybody and welcome back to Mighty BB Plays Roping for Sauce 4, where we are trying to, once again, figure out what to do. So you're the leader of the Holy Roman Empire. So my question is, who do you not like? You don't like Austria? And then you kind of just don't mind everybody else for the most part. Hmm. Okay, I guess we can work with that. We are capped on admin again, unfortunately. I just don't want to spend like a crazy amount because I feel like development's not always going to be worth it. To just use up points. Which is something that's kind of unfortunate, but can't necessarily be helped. And a ton of manpower. Nice. That's the one lucky thing out of this whole situation is somehow I've been able to maintain that. Is there any church power to help us with tech cost? Because I know there's an idea cost one. So I mean I'm going to do that when it comes to time. Gain 5 legitimacy or 10 prestige? I'll take 10 prestige I guess. Probably cheap enough. Take tech now I think. 652 and 568. Go to Aristocratic. Also, let's see. Change that. I guess we'll just go for all these just to make sure. And before we do that, we gotta go to our faith. change this one I guess and make this one the idea cost we still have 102 if we want to change it back at any point cool it's only 300 power that cost 400 though but oh well also it looks like they changed how the background works it's kind of cool. National manpower modifier is going to be amazing. It's going to be pretty much another 50k. So we're going to have like 250k manpower. Pretty sweet. France just got like beat up. They're at 19% lower than us. Well, French and Tunisia is getting destroyed. What tech level are you? And they're one province too, nice. Tech 22? Hmm. Okay then. And what tech are we? Tech 26? Yeah, I mean they're tough. France is 26. Austria is 25. Are you part of the Empire? Yeah. Unfortunate. Because if you're part of the Empire, let's see. They would defend you. France would defend you. Because you're, of course, allied to them somehow. Um, yeah, recall. I uh, wish you'd really take away that rivalry attitude. Uh, 
That reminds me. Should fish uh, issue an embargo to them, and have I done that to the Ottoman Gia? Buildings. Point four five ducats. Nice. Apparently, I can build it somewhere else. So too it says. Although I don't see that. Textile. Oh, our truce with Austria is up. Naval equipment. None of these are offering really those big bucks that I'm looking for. Like that 32 right there is pretty sweet. I guess I'll take two 25s. We're making 39.03 a month, so that's pretty sweet. Go ahead to Ansbach. Where are you allied to? Great Britain and Lyon. And how many troops do you have yourself? Because that's the real issue only. 43? Yeah, I can take that. Followed by Ansbach. Who only have 9,000. And who is I looking at attacking? Not you, not you. Them, yeah. You go down there, you go down there, and you go over there. Gotta at least expand a little bit here, I guess. Big claim on that going. Because I guess they broke their line to the Austria recently. And we're capped on admin. Do we have like war exhaustion or something? No. I guess we'll just, and this is one that we just have a crazy amount of points to, so I guess we'll just spend like mad. Let's see, I want you in charge. And I want you in charge, I guess. You're a 2-1, and you're a... To five. I've actually probably rather you in charge and then you in charge. So that good? Good. Yep. Attack everybody. And I've just absolutely got to knock them out really fast. Because it's not like I'm scared of their ally. Ooh. I just would rather not have to deal with the ally. It's a really confusing little weird path I gotta take here because of that fort, I think. But, oh well. It is what it is. Curse you. You did that weird movement thing and I had to go all the way around for nothing. I actually got an extra tick of loot off that, surprisingly. 
Oh. There th they are. So that's my cue to bring down more troops. And it looks like they're going back to their own territory. Why, you got some other war going on? No. Okay then, so they're just going away. Eh, okay. Doesn't bother me. Also, stop that stack. It just loses a dip. Actually, yeah, you take them. I don't have the time. And stack wiped Leon. So I had an error in my recording software and I had to fix that. It wasn't bad, so I just fixed it on the fly. I feel like we should surround this stack. And then just probably collapse on top of their head. Also, who's this? Ansbach? Once Peace? 10% of their income and war reps? Nah. We'll see what we want. Let's just attack them then. We'll just pile on. And stack wiped. Now that's gonna literally crush their morale like to zero. There's nothing like a 40k stack wipe to end a war. I'll tell you what. You'll never see a war end faster than a 40k stack pipe. Hm. I would hope that that would have hurt more, actually. I mean, I guess they haven't had their full, like, sting yet. Huh. Military technology, minus 10%. Nice. Doesn't really matter, but it's kind of cool. Well, how bad would it be if I took all that? That would only be 78%. That's okay. Cancel. I wouldn't happen to guess that you'd want to give me military access. Oh, you would? Sweet. Yeah, let's go marching down. Let's check out what this place down here looks like. Kozaks are back. Welcome back, Kozaks. Apparently we found a Salzburg army.
Yeah, let's just march a ton of troops down there, actually. Let's see what's going on down here. Oh, there's a 17k stack. Snap. Okay, we'll just sit here and siege. Actually, we'll take out that stack. By the way, did it say my boats got attacked? Yep, then just stock up. No reason to stay out there if we're just gonna get attacked. And this should tear apart at their almighty feeling of being the conquerors of this area. And they're locked in so they can't turn around. Wish I could get to like a fort that didn't wasn't surrounded by water. That would be pretty cool, because then I could actually take it over in my lifetime. And come from. That's okay. The next one is the one we really care about. Yep, that stung. They're starting to accumulate a lot more war exhaustion. Which is actually all I care about. And if we take over a fort, that's even better. I just really would prefer them not to be in this war anymore. And they don't care about getting out of it necessarily until I probably take over a fort. Which I have three of them that are positive now. In the way of falling. Yep. There goes one. That's gonna sting a lot. Because there's nothing like losing a fort that makes you just absolutely lose all your morale. Go through here, crush a few armies on the way. Yep, go perk up right next to him. Yep, another siege over. See, this is how I mean to do wars. Oh, stack wiped. That hurts. A lot. I say, why don't we weaken the Emperor? And his alliances.
Get more manpower, why not? Oh, and that's going to be the end of this episode. Hope you guys have enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye, everybody. Thank you for watching.